National Educator. Hello viewer. Welcome to a geography revision la lesson. This is secondary geography. Our lesson is number 11 and the topic is weathering. By the aid of this lesson, you should be able to answer the following questions correctly. They include A. What is weathering? That is the question, what is weathering? The question is allocated two marks. Then we start by analyzing the question so that we understand what is required of you. The word, first word is what, and we are saying it means we provide information on weathering. So when we are called upon to say what weathering is, and the question, the word is what, we need to provide the relevant information as pertains to weathering. Another thing that you need to be careful about here, we are talking about provide. We are saying we are providing the facts about weathering. So when you are called upon to say, stay, say what weathering is, you are called upon to provide the facts about weathering. It is also important for us to note that when you are putting across our point, when you are writing it down, it is important that it has to be short and clear sentence. And we are saying it has to be a short and clear sentence only on weathering because it has to be relevant to the question that you are responding to. Lana, it is also important for us to be aware that the question can also be put differently. So besides the question what, we can also have the question define weathering. So in case the question is asked as define weathering, remember you are supposed to respond to the question in the same manner. The same response that you give to what is weathering is the same response you give when the question comes as define weathering. And the marks will be allocated accordingly, that is two marks as well. Let us note that the following is the correct response to the question we are answering. I do hope that you've already thought about it and now that you've already covered the topic, it is important that you try to answer the question even before we put the answer across. So when you think about weathering, we are saying it is simply the breakdown and decomposition of rocks at or near the earth surface in situ. I want to repeat, we are saying when you think about weathering, it is the breaking down or decomposition of rocks at or near the earth's surface in situ. I want to make it clear, in most cases, when learners are defining or when they are saying what weathering is, they usually forget to mention where it occurs. It is very important. We must say where it occurs, that is, it is at or near the earth's surface. Then when you talk about in situ, it means without movement. So think about in situ as without movement. So Lana kindly get it clearly that when you talk about weathering, it does not involve the movement of materials. They are withered, they break down, they decompose, and they remain where they are, unless another process takes over from that. We go to part B. B1, we are saying, the question is, other than climate, give three other factors that influence the rate of weathering. The marks allocated are three. It is important for us to note, when you are called upon to give, you are simply told to provide. So in this case, you are saying, besides climate or other than climate, can you give us other factors that influence the rate of weathering? That is what uh, the, 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 the question is. It is talking about give. Can you provide the other factors that influence the rate of weathering? It is also important for us to note 
that in this case, in this question, you are required to provide factors influencing the rate of weathering. 